Hi, Claudia here from Create with Claudia. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today we're going to be doing a really fun block. It's all about half square triangles today, and this is called the Pinwheel Sawtooth Star Block, and this is my tester block that I did. It's very scrappy, it's lots of fun to make, but there are a lot of half square triangles. For those of you that are quilting along or doing the mystery quilt, my Stars of the Prairie mystery quilt in 2021, this will be the April block and we're only going to do one of them. At the end of the tutorial is just a very brief little description of what we, meet, what we need, but it's really easy. It's just basically this block. If you'd like a copy of the tutorial or you want to download the pattern, you can go to my website createwithclaudia.com where you'll find all of the information that you need. As always, I love it if you hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. I love new subscribers and I am on social media at createwithclaudia where you can find all so sorts of things that I like to post. So thanks so much for stopping by and enjoy the video. So this is the block we're going to be making today. It's an 18 and a half inch pinwheel sawtooth star. And I think it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of movement in it. Now the one thing I want to point out is when I was making this is my tester block. I ran out of this fabric here so I improvised and put this here. Um, so I'm going to just do this with three fabrics today. Sorry, that's that's uh, I was right in the middle of doing it and I realized, oh no, I don't have enough of that fabric. So I improvised with these big polka dots. Um, so these two fabrics will be the same in our finished block when we finish making it. Alrighty, so for the pinwheel uh, uh, saw sawtooth star, excuse me, I can't talk today, we need three different fabrics and we need a fat quarter of each one. That makes it easy. So there's a background fabric, which is this sort of very pale green that I have here, and then there are two other fabrics. There's a fabric A and a fabric B. And here's the cutting that you need for all of those. It, like I said, it's really simple. This month is really simple as far as cutting. From the background fabric, this pale green, which you'll see if you are on the, in doing the mystery quilt, I use every single month. I use the same background fabric. So from the background fabric, you need four squares, cut five and three quarters inches, and then, let me move these out of the way, and then you need four squares, cut five inches. So five inch squares, five and three quarter inch squares. From fabric A, which is this coral, you need four squares cut five and three quarter inches. And lastly, from fabric B, which is this yellow, bright yellow, you need four squares cut five and three quarters inches. That is it. Like I said, this is really simple. The only thing that takes a lot of time is sewing all those half square triangles together. So this is what we need to uh, cut. And then what I'm gonna show you next is how to make a half square triangle. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is set aside those five inch squares because we're not going to use those till the very end when we're putting the whole block together. And then you're going to need to pair up all of these different uh, squares. So what you need to do is you need two pairs of the background fabric. And I'm going to pair them up before I start sewing them with fabric A. That's two pairs of those two pairs of background fabric with fabric B, which is that yellow. And then lastly, you need two pairs of fabric A, and there you go, and fabric B. So that's how you pair them up. You have two pairs of each. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make half square triangles with all of these using the, the following method. Okay, so to make the half square triangle, you have your pairs that you already paired up. You're going to take the lighter fabric that you're using on one, and you're going to draw a diagonal line from corner to corner. Now I'm using a pencil here. I normally would not use a pencil. I would probably use a water soluble marker, uh, a pen or something like that. But this way you can see it really well on camera. I'm just going to draw that line nice and straight, and that's pretty easy. And then what you're going to do is you pair up your pair again, right sides facing. Let's see which is the right side of this one. This is it. So here's your right sides of the fabric facing each other. Square them up on top of each other. If you cut them right, this one's a little, there we go. Um, all right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sew a quarter inch, a scant quarter inch. Let me get my pencil so I can point. 
down along each side of that drawn line. You're not going to sew on the line, you're going to sew on either side of the, or on both sides of that. So you're going to do that for this and then for all the rest of those half square triangles. And when I come back I'll show you uh, what to do next. Alright, so you see where I've sewn down each side of um, that drawn line right here. There's a quarter inch seam on each one. You can, it's kind of hard to see. Maybe you can... No, that's not going to work. Um, but you, I've sewn down a quarter inch on each side of that drawn line and now we're going to split this in half on the drawn line. This time we're going to cut on that drawn line that I did earlier. Very simple. And then we're going to flip these open, press to the dark, and I'll be right back and then what we need to do is trim them down and we're going to trim them down to five inches. Alright, so here's that those two squares sewn together and then split in half and pressed open. The last thing we need to do before we're ready to piece this block together is trim all of your half square tri triangles down to five inches square. So I'm going to show you how to do that with one of them. And you're going to need a ruler with a doesn't matter what size, it will have to be at least five inches, but uh, with that nice diagonal line printed on it, that, that'll help you line up this block. And you're going to line that diagonal line here on the ruler along this diagonal line on your half square triangle. And you're going to start with one corner, you're just going to cut a nice even straight edge, so that's a good starting point. We're just going to even off that one side. So we're not super concerned, we just want to make it bigger than five inches. All right, so there's our great, nice, sharp corner. And what we're going to do is find our five inches here on this ruler. Let's see how it matches here. There's your five inch point. That's going to go on this corner that you just cut open. You're going to line up along here, along this line, and along that line. That's why those diagonal lines are so helpful. It really gets you, gets you a nice, accurate half square triangle or whatever unit you're cutting. All right, so there's my five inch half square triangle and it's ready to go. So I'm gonna bring, luckily I've already done the other ones. <laughs> they take a while, they, they do take a little while to do. Um, I'm gonna cut this one really quickly and when I come back, we'll have all of them ready and we'll be ready to piece this block together. All right, here are all my half square triangles and those squares I cut. Everything's five inches and we are ready to lay this block out and sew it together. So you're going to start and put one of those five inch squares of the background fabric in the corner. And then, remember coral was the fabric A and then yellow was the fabric B. So you're going to need a fabric B and a background fabric. And you're going to put that like so. And then you want to find a background fabric and fabric A. Whoops, see, I'm already messing this up. <laughs> yellow was B, coral was A. There we go. Yeah, you have to, that, that is the one thing with this block, stay organized. It's really easy to get twisted around. It's easier when they're all laid out. You can sort of look at them and say, oops, that one's in the wrong place, but okay. So there's your first row. So there it is, ready to sew together. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to sew each row individually. That's how I do it. You can do it however you want. You might even, because these are half square triangles, they're, they're a lot more points. You might want to do sections like this. Um, you know, it's sort of up to you how you want to sew your block together. Um, in this case, I actually might do sections first and then sew my four sections together. The one thing I will suggest when you are sewing this block together, pin, pin, pin. I will show, let me just show you really quickly. You want to pin so that you get nice sharp points. Uh, so when you're sewing, just make sure you pin, especially at those uh, corners like that, or those yeah those corners here where those seams join. You want to, those to be really nice and sharp. This is a that's that is the tricky part about this block. Oops, let's see. There we go. I think that's right. Yeah, let's see. There we go. <laughs> okay. 
So now we're going to go ahead and start sewing, and I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I, I think actually I, when, I, when I'm talking to you guys about this, I think I'm changing my mind, and I am going to do four at a time like this. That makes it easier, and instead of rows across, and then we'll sew the whole block together. Okay, so here are the four sections. They're all sewn together. I think they look pretty. I love this color combination. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, and I'm really pleased with that coral and that yellow. Um, so then you're going to just sew these four pieces together. I did want to show you one thing with the sewing, though, to help you out with your points. When we're sewing these together, you definitely want to pin where those points are going to be, where you're going to get those nice sharp points, and you just want to match them up when you're pinning. You want to look at them together. Hopefully you can see that. Match them together. Make sure it's nesting so you're pressing and then you're just going to put a pin right at that point and that should help you, hopefully, <laughs> famous last words um, when you're sewing you want to sew right let me take the pin out again, right at that little, at where that intersection is, right above it, just I mean just a hair above it and that'll help you get that nice sharp point. So I'm going to finish piecing up this block and we'll be done. Alrighty, so here's my finished pinwheel sawtooth star. It measures 18 and a half inches square. I'm really happy with my point. That's about as good. It, that one's just a little off, but I will take that any day. I'm happy with that point. That's always a hard one because you have eight, uh, eight points, eight triangles coming together. If you are quilting along with us on the mystery quilt, this is the April block. It's the fourth block in the uh, the pattern, and it's everything's the same. So if you're just here to make the block, that's fine. If you're here for the mystery quilt, you just make one of these blocks this month. So it's just one of these 18 and a half inch pinwheel saw sawtooth stars. Okay, so I'm back with the finished block. Here it is. I'll show you. I really like the way this one turned out. Um, again, it's full of half square triangles, so I apologize to those of you who don't like half square triangles. They are pretty much my favorite unit to make on, on in quilting. I'm not sure why, but they, they, just, they just are. I think they're so versatile. This block measures 18 and a half inches, and if you are joining in on the Stars of the Prairie uh, 2021 uh, mystery quilt, this is the April block for that, and you only need to make one of them. And again, it measures 18 and a half inches. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. I, I always love new subscribers. Thank you so much. And I am on social media at Create with Claudia. If you're interested in downloading this pattern, I do have it on my website, createwithclaudia.com, where there's also a tutorial if you, if you want to look at that too. So thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.